Think you know all the tools for print on demand success? Well, guess what? You don't. Today, I'm gonna to talk about seven different tools that you probably have not heard about. I would bet a lot of the top sellers have never even heard about these. And I'm not talking Printify, Everbee, E-Rank, Canva, Kittle. And why is that? Because if you've watched me before, or you watched YouTube videos on print and demand, you've probably heard of these. But I am going in depth for some extra tools that I have found really helpful along my journey that are way less popular. The first tool I use is the printer save button. And what that does is from your Etsy listing, you can hit pin and it will create a pin to your Etsy boards and it will already have all the information. It will have all your photos. It will link to the right listing. The only downside I have found so far is you can't really resize your photo. So it grabs the photo size from your Etsy listing, which sometimes is not ideal for Pinterest. But what this is great for is for me, I probably would not do any Pinterest without this button. It takes so long to create a pin, even to schedule them in Tailwind, which you might've heard about versus with the Etsy Pinterest save button, all you have to do is go to one of your listings. And then when you have the Pinterest save button installed, you're going to see this little save button above your Etsy photo. And you're going to just hit that. And then you can add it to one of the boards that you have created. So you do need to set up your Pinterest account first and link it up to the save button. But after that, it is pretty much very automated. It's just two button clicks for this to become a pin on Pinterest. And while yes, you might see some better results if you fully do your own Pinterest and you can tag it and you can set the photo dimensions right, this is for those like me who are not going to do that. And I always lied to myself saying I would do it and I just didn't. So this has been a great backup option and I have been able to drive quite a fit of eyes using this tool and some random ones have really popped off. Just like Pinterest in like nature, it does take a while for some of your listings to start getting any traction. I had to wait quite a few months before I even saw any results, whether that be between pins that I tried posting myself or this Pinterest save button. I have about 50-50 on which works best. So I absolutely just love this quick tool. The second tool that I wanna talk about today is link.store. Do you remember your Etsy link? www.etsy.com slash CA or depending on where you're located, dash shop dash your shop name. That is a mouthful. Who is going to remember that? And yes, there is also the option now to do your store name dot Etsy dot com, but even that has so many characters and is extremely hard to remember. What if I told you instead of that clunky URL, you could have a shorter, more branded URL that drives to the same location? Well, that is exactly what link.store is for. You enter your Etsy shop name and then they create a branded link for you that shows us your shop name, dot store, which looks a lot cleaner and is easier to remember. And based on their studies, a branded link will get 48% more clicks than a marketplace link. So just by switching out your links for a branded link, you could see a sharp uplift in your traffic. So here's an example of what that would look like. You add your dot store branded link to your social media pages like this, and you get this clean looking URL. But when you click it, it leads right on over to your Etsy store. And for those that follow Etsy updates or watch my videos, you're aware about the new Etsy share and save program. And link.store works with that program. So if you're not familiar with the program, I'm gonna link that video up next. But when you drive traffic through an external link to your Etsy store, you will get a 4% refund from Etsy for the fees because you drove that traffic. So they're not gonna be charging the 6.5% of fees. Instead, you're only charged 2.5% of fees. So combine 48% more clicks along with a 4% refund on every single order driven through that, that's some great savings. So to claim your free link, just go to link.store and then you're gonna type in the brand name that you would want your branded link to say. So I want mine to match my Etsy store. See you online. I'm gonna hit claim my free link, then I'm going to hit Etsy, and then I'm going to paste in the link of my store. And then once your information is all in there, you just have to sign up and create an account, and then your branded link will be live. Then you can start using it on all of your social media, your Instagram, your Twitter. You can start using it on maybe print marketing you do. You can start using it in your emails or anywhere that you drive traffic to your store. Keep in mind that this is free for six months, which is a crazy trial period, and you don't need to enter your credit card, so they're not gonna automatically bill you once the six months is done, but 
But at that point, you can see if you've had a lot uplift in clicks, and then you can decide if this is something you actually want to carry forward, if it's worth it for your store. The next one is called What the Font. Have you ever gone to a listing and been like, what font is that? I would love to use that on my designs. Well, now you can. When you find a font you want, take a screenshot of the exact font. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of grandma right here. And then on Google, we're gonna type in what the font. And the first one that comes up is my fonts. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna click on this. And then we're going to upload that screenshot that we had just taken. And then we're gonna hit identify font. What this does is it tries to figure out what font this is, or it helps you find one extremely close. You might not always be able to find the exact font, but so far I've had very, very good luck with this, or even just finding a very similar one. So you can scroll through the ones through here, and you can take a look at the lettering to see if you can match it up directly. I'm gonna keep going through this one until I find one that I like. This moon time regular one is really close. And so is this one, the midnight signature. Neither of them are exact on. There's a few different pages I could scroll, but these are close enough. And if I wanted to get this one, they do have links right here where you can buy the font. But if you pay for Creative Fabrica, you might be able to get these for free. So I've come up to Creative Fabrica fonts and I'm gonna type in midnight signature because that was the one we were going with and they actually have this font already and because i pay for a subscription for creative fabrica because i get many fonts from them and in many different elements i can just download this and i'm able to use this font but if you do not have a subscription even though you can get 10 free fonts using the link below this is only a dollar 50 right now but creative fabrica you can get yearly access for only 4.99 a month so if you're planning to get a lots of different fonts for your designs or different elements, I highly recommend looking into Creative Fabrica. The next is Vela at getvela.com. And what Vela does is they help you bulk edit all of your listings at once. Etsy itself has some bulk editing options, but not to the degree that Vela lets you. You can take a look at all of your listings in one view and make bulk changes. So for example, if I wanted to add a certain photo to every single listing, I can hit add up here. And then I can add that to every single one of my listings. So if I had a new photo that I wanted, maybe it's a thank you card that I wanted in my photos, I don't have to go through each individual listing because that could take me forever because in my actual POD store, I have over a thousand listings. I don't wanna spend the time doing that. You can also do things like replace. They can look for one photo and then replace it with one. You can also delete. This has saved me so much time because later in my print on demand journey, I changed and added size guides and certain thank you pages or certain thank you cards. And using this saved me so much time. You can take a look at your descriptions quickly, your titles, your tags, about your production partner, category, section, personalization, digital files, and you can edit all of your listings extremely quickly. You can also edit by section, by different tags. So if you only wanted to update, say sweatshirts, you can just look for sweatshirts and update all of those listings. So this one is only free for seven days and after that you do pay for it, but for me, I only used the seven day free trial when I had a really big update to do. And after that, I canceled my subscription. But for some of you, it might be helpful to keep using Vela. And there is two different tiers if you choose to use this long-term. We have Vela Lite and Vela Plus. And you can take a look at both and depending on your needs, you might just need Vela Lite, which comes to only $5 a month. Then I have a free research tool for you that you've probably heard of, but you never thought to use for Etsy. And that my friends is Google Trends. So with Google Trends, I usually look up the product that I sell. So say I'm usually selling sweatshirts, I'm gonna type in sweatshirt and then I'm going to change some of these. So you can either do worldwide or I like to take a look at United States. And then you can change how far back it looks at. So maybe I'm gonna change in the past 30 days, what sweatshirts are trending? So we have Ghost Malone sweatshirt that is probably copyrighted. I'd be careful with that. That doesn't check for any copyright. So just keep that in mind. But that has a breakout amount of trend increase. We have 
Broken crayon still color sweatshirt. Not sure what that means. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Snoopy fall sweatshirt. Cause sweatshirt. Colorado football. Coach Prime sweatshirt. Lion sweatshirt. Snoopy Halloween. Grinch sweatshirt. We have Starfit. Dallas Cub Cowboys. Snoopy seems to be extremely popular. Colorado sweatshirt. Ghost sweatshirt. So you might have noticed a lot of these are probably copyrighted. They have to do with a brand. So again, be just very careful, but you will find ones that are not copyrighted that you can take advantage of because they are trending right now. And if they're trending on Google, they are also trending on Etsy because Etsy also shows up in Google search. And my last one is one that a lot of you might have heard of, but I actually don't talk about it much. And a few people that I brought it up to were really surprised by it. So I'm gonna share it here. And that is Place It. Place It is a mock-up library you can upload your design to the product you're planning to sell and save this and use it as your Etsy photos. Personally, I still prefer to buy Etsy photos or Etsy mockups on Etsy and then create them in Canva. But the upside of Placeit is for products that are not flat. So mugs, tumblers, socks, blankets, pillows. You need to be really skilled to mock up your design on those types of products but place it makes it extremely easy. You just open the photo you like, you can change your the color of your products, and then you can upload your design. Then you can play with the positioning of your designs. So you can make it larger or smaller, and then hit crop, and then you can save this and upload this as your Etsy photo. They even have videos. So this one's pretty simple. The mug doesn't move, but they have some other ones where the product actually moves and your design stays with it. So this is great if you have tons of different designs and you don't want to order a sample of every single one of your designs because that is extremely expensive. You can just make them on place it and now you have both your photos and a video of your product. The next cool tool is great for you who want to offer personalization, and that is hellocustom.io. I am running out of time, so I'm gonna go through these ones quickly, but Hello Custom uses AI to fill out your design with the customization that your customer entered onto Etsy. So if your customer put in their custom name, like this design right here, Hello Custom's automatically gonna create that design for you and you just have to approve it and they link up with Printify so it automatically gets sent to print. This will save you so much time because without it, you would have to go back into your Canva file, add in the personalization, resave it, re-upload it as a product to Printify and then find your order and assign it versus Hello Custom will automate that all for you. They are changing a lot recently. I do have a video tutorial or you can also go onto hellocustom.io and watch their demo to figure out how it works. And my last one helps you create t-shirt quotes or sweatshirt quotes or whatever quote you want for your print on demand products. And that is using the Kittle AI quote generator. So on Kittle, you can go to AI tools, you can go to the AI quote generator, and then we're gonna hit generate quotes. And we can pick from one of the niches they already gave us, or we can type in one ourselves down here. I'm gonna put, let's say knitting. And then I'm gonna hit continue. I can pick the tone that I would like. Do I want it to be inspirational, sad? Probably not sad, smart, serious. For me, I'm gonna go funny. And then you can pick how long you want this. So depending on your design idea, you might have different lengths. I'm just gonna go with two to four words and let's see what that gives me. So we have not a problem, pearl power, needle ninja, loop the loop, knit happens, hooked on yarn, stitch please. These are actually hilarious. And they even have some puns that maybe only people in the knitting niche would know because I don't know anything about pearls, but it seems like that's something to do with knitting. This thing is great if you already have Kittle, but if you don't, you can also do this on ChatGPT. You can open a ChatGPT and ask it to write you 10 sheet t-shirt ideas for a knitting shirt with two to four words and see what that generates for you. But if you already have Kittle or you're not that savvy with AI prompts, then this Kittle generator is fantastic. All right, guys, I hope there was one in here at least that maybe some of you top sellers did not know about. And let me know if there's any that you plan to use or if I missed any really cool ones, let me know and I'd love to check them out. Thanks, guys.